You know what it is, Superstar Radio. Some people just took over my show. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. We got the gangster right here with the big muscles. <laughs> we got the director. Uh -huh. And we got, I want you to introduce yourself because you know you got a lot of fans. They've been going crazy since uh -oh. Monday uh -oh. that you was going to be on the show. That's fine. Can you introduce uh -huh. yourself? My name is Megan Good. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and tell who's 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 this. You can introduce yourself because I want you to beat me I mean, up. Dang. I can introduce myself. Is that all right with you? Uh, my bad. No, I'm playing. Um, what's up? I'm Lamaya Good. Lamaya Good. Lamaya Good. I am the co-star right here. This young lady for Video Girl. The big sister. Okay. And can you tell them, because this is a dope movie right here, man. You got to let them know. It's a dope movie. It's a dope movie. I'm telling everybody. My name is Ty Hodges. Ty Hodges. The director of the film. Okay. Now, Ty, I'm going to get to you. Yeah. What made you want to get the sisters? Well, actually, they got me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they hired me. They All right. Me, you know what I'm saying? They got me. All right. Um, Megan's had this project for like seven years, and so she's been wanting to do it. It's been a passion project. Okay. And uh, basically, when she found the funding for it, she came to me and approached me to direct it and kind of develop it with her to find her vision. And so okay. that, we, we developed it and Lamaya, you know, beefed up the sister role. So because Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I ain't got that much funding. You're going to have to put that mic a little bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't got that. All right. So then, and then we developed it. And then right. Lamaya is so talented that we just kind of umped the sister role and developed it to a point to where they could both star in it and it'd be a vehicle for them. Hot. Now, Megan, did you um this? You said this is like your baby right here. Yeah. It's about the we we're gonna have birth in May, right? Yes. I'm okay. feeling contractions right now. Wow. <laughs> now <laughs> I've seen the trailer. We're gonna get into the trailer. Okay. Do you actually have like real video vixens in this movie? Um, I'm gonna let Ty take that one. Yeah, we have all of the you know we have the the Melissa Ford you know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. We Esther have Baxter. Esther Baxter. Sulein. Sulein. Angel Lola. Um, Angel Lola. I mean, we have every. Geez, um, Delicia. Yeah. yeah. We have majority of all the real music video girls there, and they're telling their real stories too throughout mm -hmm. the film. Wow. So you got all these video vixens. Do you got any rappers in here? Like known rappers in here too? Yeah, we got that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. my man Webby. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have the little afro Unbeat. again? Uh, he got a hat on. Okay, yeah, because he yeah. had the little microphone afro going on. <laughs> <laughs> that's my whole, that's the homie though. Um, we got Bun, Bun B, B who plays Lamaya's love interest. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jules Santana. Jules Santana. Bobby yeah. Valentino. Wow. Yeah, I just seen Bobby. Stank. Is he? Saying? Hold on. Is he tall as you or shorter? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was in heels. I, I, so. the, no, you were. <laughs> Did you hear his accent? He's like, man, she looked good. I just want to see her. She is like this little. So, is are you taller? I, I know she's I taller. No, I'm not commenting on that. <laughs> I have, but I will say he's a very handsome young man. Shout out to Tyler. You know he's making a lot of movies, but yeah. we don't see a lot of black movies anymore. Right. You know all we do is see Tyler. Right. Well, you know we love to see Tyler because what he's doing is the brand that he has. And what he's creating yeah. is something that we all, you know, wish to create on, on that level. And I think for really for us, you know, we we're not so much looking to do like the big black movie. We're looking to do the black art house film, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's it's urban, but it's. it's I think it, it relates like, more you know, to or or um, monster or um, so Little Miss culture. Sunshine. Like we, live in a, we live in a very multicultural. Yeah. Right. You see black kids skateboarding now. You see Asian skateboarding. Yeah. Like it's, it's this younger generation wants more. So it's not about color. Right. So the films we want to do are more urban art house films to mm -hmm. where we're talking about everything. What made you want to be a director? Now, was you an actor before? Because you said Nickelodeon and all these things. What were you doing with making? I do it all, man. I just make movies. Like, are you are you I on like your Spike parts. thing? Sorry, you come I'm in. Like... Are, are you on your Spike not needed thing? You know what I mean? Nah, I mean, nah, well, I, I, have a, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like art, man. I express myself different ways. So making okay. movies. I really don't leave myself just a director. I'm an actor filmmaker. Yeah. No, nah, but yeah, I like to do it all. I like to act and and direct and write movies. Okay, so do you have another after Video Girls? Do you, are you working on another movie? Yeah, we have Sundays at Fort Green that we have a script. Uh, it's it's a movie set in Brooklyn. 
Um, shout out to people in Brooklyn, but it's a, a, about a black family in Brooklyn and the okay. gentrification process, and just a family, a movie about family, and then a movie called You Me in the Circus, which is an original musical that. Man, you're making a lot of movies, I'm man. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to get Tyler Perry, <laughs> dog. I'm trying, yeah, you know, I'm trying, yeah, you're gonna get there. To, <laughs> it's like I just counted yeah. five movies, y'all. Funny. Really, he really is underrated. He <laughs> no. really is There's super a, underrated. I'm telling I you. Like, I feel like Miles from Home is to me was kind of like Precious before there was Precious. Yeah. Because of the grittiness and and the honesty, and it's one of those films when we screen it at least one or two people walk, walk out of the out. theater in the first scene because they're so like um no i can't when, when you so precious was you i when i seen it, i was like man i ain't watching this shit man i had to because <laughs> I, I, I like, knew instantly that it was gonna be the first of its kind to see the light of day a black art house film and i was like it needs to have that like it needs to make a lot of noise. Yeah. People need to know that people are gonna go see this. People want to see this. Okay. If you don't want to see it. I may not. Have been no, I wanted to see it, it but, but I'm just really not into this. What it stands for. Yeah. What you into, brother? What's huh? I need to know. <laughs> I'm trying to make movies, but you not into some. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm, nah, I'm <laughs> into these movies, but you know, like the extra, extra sad movies. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of crazy. Like I remember the Tyler Perry movie when a dude got crazy and threw the kid out yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. What but the these fuck? messages are yeah. Incredible. Right. on people's lives and it's, you know? and it's the truth this is what's really going on out there yeah. and you know and I think people are afraid to talk about it um, but unfortunately it's, it seems that our I don't know the people in our generation are kind of addicted to watching that kind of thing anyway so